Hey guys, I'm João Beck. I'm a field application engineer at Altium. And today I want to talk about Drossman template. Um, so if you haven't tried Drossman yet, Drossman is our documentation tool that gathers all the assembly views and fabrication views together with layer stack, BOM, all the uh, information you need to have your project well documented. Um, the best thing about Drossman is that it's a dynamic documentation, which means that whenever you uh, make changes to your project in a new revision, let's say, um, you can push all the changes over to your documentation without the need of making adjustments every time you make changes to your design, right? So you move a component, you reshape your board, you can push all those changes into your documentation. You will automatically update your documentation. So let's see what we have here um, in Altium Designer. So I already have here a, a um, Drossman document that I created. I just created this Drossman document. Maybe, you know, just to show you guys, I'm going to add another view. I'm going to add a um, isometric view quickly. Um, you can align all the views with the guidelines that Altium has. Um, I'm going to make this one a front isometric view. And now let's say this is the format I want to have for um, as a documentation for all my future projects, right? Having the assembly views on the first page, then layer stack and bomb in the second one. And in the third page, I'd like to have the fabrication views, top, bottom, and maybe the drill drawings with the drill table, right? One thing you have to remember here, the dimensions cannot be transferred into your template. Dimensions, um, detail views, and callouts. Those will be erased in your, uh, when you generate your Drossman template, and then you have to manually add them into your new Drossman document for a new project, right? Because each design has its own dimension. The board shapes are completely different. It wouldn't work, right? So that's the only thing you guys have to do once you apply a template. How do you create that, them, that uh, template, and how do you make it available for you in Altium Designer? Well, first thing, Go into your preferences and get to Draftsman template so you know where the folder is, right? So I'm just going to copy the folder where your templates are. I'm going to get to the folder here just to make sure I got the right place pasted. And okay, seems that uh, all my Draftsman templates are there. Now I'm going to save this document, not as a Draftsman document, but as a Draftsman template. You got to make sure you change it here. And I'm going to make this one my Draftsman temp template one. Okay. Save it. Now, how do I apply that uh, template? Well, next time in any project, any future project, and you want to go and uh, add a Draftsman document, you're going to have that template available for you right there, right? Just make sure you select the right document that you want to have um, your draftsman following. So I am using the final NBP28 for my design. I know this is the board I want to create the documentation and wait for it. So it's going to pretty much add all the views for you. It's going to add uh, all the assembly fabrication views. Um, and, uh, in, and also the layer stack and bomb. All right, once you have that finished or done, it might be, it might, you might have some adjustments to make. I just had these below materials that was uh, not well aligned. Just realigning this one, but besides that, everything was fine. So um, why would I create a draftsman? You know, you can, you know, you saw that process adding each one of the views can take a lot of time, adding layer stack, organizing the position I want them to be. Um, and it also adds a level of continuity to your documentation. Right, so you want them to be um, very um, 
consistent in the way you create your documentation. So every single design you create should follow a standard where you place, let's say in this case, all these assembly views, the uh, top view, left view, right view, and front side. And then all I have to do now is add the dimensions, detail views, and callouts. All right, that's my tip for today. Thank you guys for watching it.